What's going on you guys? This is New York Adventure in 1994 here. And today is Saturday, November 18th, 2023. And I have to address what's been going on with with the news about LIPA trying to take out PSENG Long Island. This is a video that Pine Power, Power LI made regarding the news of what could happen to PSENG Long Island by 2026. Pine Power made a video about this and this is a video that I really need to make also. Because LIPA is looking to take Full utility by 2026, like take control of the utility completely, it, and it's gonna happen the day after PSG Long Island's contract ends, and then they're gonna be dissolved once and for all by 2026. The PSENG Long Island's contract expires on New Year's Eve in 2025, and that's the day before LIPA takes full control, if the vote goes through. Yeah, they took, they took a vote on it, which is pretty outrageous. And if it goes through in Albany, then it's the end of PSENG Long Island, and LIPA is going to take full control again and I feel like I'm being tortured again I'm starting to feel the same trauma I felt during Hurricane Sandy I'm starting to feel that trauma again from when we were left in the dark from Sandy I remember LIPA switched over to PSNG Long Island because LIPA failed to do their jobs during Sandy and it left people in the dark for two weeks. People were left in the dark for like two weeks all over Long Island. Or maybe more than that, I don't know. LIPA had a job to do and many days go by and there were no trucks on site and they failed to do their jobs that many people had to sit in the dark after Sandy hit for nearly two weeks. There were places that got their power back and then they lost it again because some other nor'easter showed up and dumped a lot of wet snow on us and delivered a lot of high winds and people were finding themselves in the dark again after that. This shows you how much LIPA has failed us big time and it's a huge mistake that they want to take down PSENG Long Island and have LIPA take full control. This is absolutely ridiculous. This shows you how messed up these people are in their heads in our state. This is not right and I know we are we're going to be doomed when the next storm hits when LIPA takes over again. I mean, what's going to happen when the next Sandy hits? People are, gonna, are just going to find themselves in the dark again, but I think it's going to be much worse than Sandy if LIPA takes full control again. I think the allergies are going to be much worse. I think this. I think our next storm is going to be much worse than Sandy when we get hit with the next hurricane. This is not right. And and they said it's for the people, and I don't think it's about the people at all. These people are just snobs, and they, and they're just doing whatever the heck they want. LIPA has failed us for the last time. I cannot deal with LIPA anymore. They failed to do their jobs, and they're also holding PSENG Long Island back. I mean, LIPA is Long Island's power company, while PSENG is just a contractor, which they have expiring by 2025. 
the day before Liba takes full control if it goes through in 2026. I mean, tell me how it feels that people sat in the dark after Sandy and people were filling up gas station lines like overnight and they had to like sit in their car overnight at a gas station line just to refill their generator. Tell me how that felt. Tell me how my dad felt sitting through that line on Halloween night and he didn't get home till like the crack of dawn. And tell me how it felt sitting in the living room in a blanket in the dark after Sandy. Sandy was a scary roller coaster ride for all of us. Like, a lot of days went by and there was no truck on sight. And I think, and Lipa was like trying to restore power for the people on the south shore other than the middle of the island. This is beyond outrageous. Lipa should have been gone for good, but no, they're still around. Lipa is still around, and it was a big mistake to keep them around. And now they want to dissolve PSG for Lipa to take over again. Lipa should have been took. Lipa should have been taken off the map, like, way after Sandy after, happened. I'm sorry, immediately after Sandy happened. Lipa should have been wiped off the map after Sandy happened and have PSTNG take full control. But no, they had to keep Lipa around and now they're thinking about bringing it back fully. And they're holding PSTNG Long Island back. We have poles in Long Island that look ready to fall in the next storm. They look crooked. And they had these wooden poles up for like 50 or 70 years. And they're doing absolutely nothing about it. We have power lines that look shot from Sandy. And no, no work has been done about it. There was a power pole that got burnt from Sandy, and that wasn't taken care of. I remember how much Lipa failed us when we had Isaiah in 2020. We were dealing with the virus, and we had a storm that no one saw coming, and it was very powerful, and people were left in the dark for like over a week. And there were no PSNG crews on duty. And I know Lipa had a part in it, in it. No work was done with with the power after Isaiah's hit for days because Lipa is still around. People were sitting in the dark in Long Island because Lipa was still around. And over in New Jersey, they were doing a much better job restoring their power after Isaiah's. Like JCPNL and PSENG Long, PSENG New Jersey, were restoring power quicker than Long Island has, but no work was done in Long Island. There were many crews that were just off duty while people were sitting in the dark, and people were dealing with the heat. Also, we were dying from the heat after Isaiah's. I was only out of power for 12 hours, but I'm talking about everybody else. You should be very grateful around that time if, if you still had power after Isaiah's because many Long Islanders and many people in the Northeast were in the dark after Isaiah's, which was a storm nobody saw coming. But they were underestimating Isaiah's way too much. I wish Lipa, I wish Lipa just got taken out for good after Sandy and have PSNG take over Folly after what Sandy did because Lipa failed to do their job. Their job was to restore power as quick, quickly as possible. But no, they weren't doing that so Lipa failed us big time after Sandy and that's why PSNG came into play and they should have replaced 
light but completely, but no, they still have to keep it around. If Wipo was taken out completely, we probably would have had better utility. But we have, we still have those same weak power poles that look damaged from Sandy. And they're like leaning instead of standing up straight. And they look just about ready to fall in the next storm. I'm telling you right now. Because Wipo is still around. We're pretty much screwed when the next Sandy hits. And I think we're going to be in for even more bad luck. When we get hit with the next big hurricane. That was actually almost us this year. We almost got hit by Hurricane Lee. But thank goodness it like avoided us completely. But I felt bad for the people who lived in eastern New England and Atlantic Canada. So as I was saying, I, I am beyond outrage with this whole situation. I feel like I'm being traumatized again from, from what happened with Sandy. And I'm telling you, 6th grade is, it feels like a little too young for me to be traumatized by something that happened 11 years ago. The anger stays here, but once in a while the lid has to be taken off. I have not forgotten about Sandy when we were sitting in the living room with a blanket with no lights and we were in the cold. I will never forget that nightmare. I told you guys this story like several times. This is why Lipa has to go because they weren't doing their job during Sandy and they failed us completely and they're still around and they're holding PSENG back and they kept people out of power for weeks after Sandy this is why Lipa has to go they should have been gone after Sandy hit but it's a big mistake that they that they're trying to get rid of PSENG so Lipa can take full control by 2026 this just goes to show that my days living in Long Island are numbered I'm telling you right now, my days here are numbered. Because I do not want to be in the same trauma I dealt with in Sandy. It, it was a complete nightmare. So yeah, I really hope this doesn't happen. I hope PSENG takes full control, but that's not the case. So I guess that's it.